Hey guys, Rob here at 3D Printscape. Today I wanted to go over cleaning the build plate on your Endor 3 or Endor 3 Pro. I've got the standard magnetic build plate here and then a glass build plate that I've been using. So I just wanted to walk through the process on how I would clean them and then talk about a couple things you can do if they're extremely bad. Um, now, like I said, this is for the Endor 3 or Endor 3 Pro, um, just because that's what I have here as an example, and the magnetic build plate is specific to that. But a lot of the concepts I'm going to be talking about here are true across all 3D printers. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Before we do, um, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It'll really help the channel out. All right, now let's go ahead and zoom in on the build plates. All right, let's go ahead and start with the magnetic build plate. Um, this one is a little bit newer, so it's not that bad, uh, and I did clean it um, a couple prints ago. Uh, but we're going to uh, start with this guy, and then we'll go over to the glass build plate. I have it just on a piece of cardstock, so I can use it as an example. I've got two different types of glue on here. Uh, this is just a standard glue stick, and this is um, the bed weld that I like to use. So I'll show you how to remove both of those. Alright, so with the magnetic build plate here, uh, the easiest way to clean this is with um, rubbing alcohol. Now, I have some um, alcohol pads here. I wanted to get a bottle of just standard rubbing alcohol, but literally everywhere is sold out right now still because of uh, everything with COVID. Um, but these work pretty well. Uh, at least if the build plate's not too bad, you'll be able to get away with uh, alcoholic pads like this. If it is bad, you go on and get a thing of rubbing alcohol and some paper towels. But let's go ahead and get started here. All right, guys, I had to step away there for a second. Uh, somebody rang the doorbell and the dogs went crazy, uh, so I had to pause the recording. But yeah, um, I will go through probably six to 10 of these just because they're so small. But you really, you just start, you get a spot and you just really start rubbing it in. And then fortunately with these, it's really easy to see what spots you've hit and what spots you haven't. And then if you have any filament stuck on there, this gets it off really well as, as you can see there. Um, one thing with the rubbing alcohol that I wanted to point out is I tend to just let it air dry. Once it's cleaned with the pads here, um, I don't go over it with water or anything like that. Uh, I think the rubbing alcohol actually really helps the prints uh, stick to the bed as well. But you can get a really, really dirty build surface looking pretty good again, uh, just using rubbing alcohol. All right, and then I'll just keep running through this until I'm getting nothing else at it. Let me grab a couple more pads here. Uh, if this was dirtier, I would be using more, like I said, I'd use um, really six to 10 of them. But because it's so clean, uh, I'll be able to get away with just using four. All right, so we start on this side here. Actually, I think I can get away with three, nice. It looks like I do have a little something stuck. Maybe it's a scratch on the build plate there. That's not gonna come out. I'm sorry, on the build surface, not the build plate, but. All right, that covers the process. Yeah, I was able to get away with just three. Um, now this thing will just air dry and probably be usable in five to 10 minutes. If you have any questions on cleaning this build plate, uh, go ahead and leave a comment below. I'll try to get back to you pretty quickly. So let me go ahead and just set this back on the printer. All right, now we have the glass build plate here. So really with this, we have a couple options. We can go just run this underwater, uh, get a couple paper towels and wipe it off. And then um, I would recommend using some rubbing alcohol on it after that, just to make sure that you're getting everything off of it. Or if it's not too bad like this, you can just use rubbing alcohol, even while it's on the printer itself. Um, sorry, I'm pointing to the printer, I just realized you can't see it in the camera. But even while it's on the printer, you can still do that because it's not gonna get everywhere. You have full control over it. So let's go ahead and get started here. Um, like I mentioned, 
earlier. This side is um, just a standard glue stick and this side is with the bed weld. And as you can see here, this is coming off quite nice. Um, I hate running it under the sink. It just takes forever to dry. Then you still have to wipe it down anyways if you want, just, if you want the best adhesion afterwards. Uh, so I just prefer to go this route. Um, so that's why I wanted to show it to you guys. Really rubbing alcohol works very well for any build plates. All right, see, as you can see, the one um, pad here took care of that entire section. It came off quite nicely. I'll end up going over it again, but that one shot. Let me grab a couple more pads here. All right. And then this, the bed wall comes off really easily, um, which is one reason why I like it. It works well, comes off easy. All right. So then once you finish with those, well, all right, so once I finish with those two areas, uh, I'm gonna wanna just hit the rest of the build plate as well, just so it's all consistent. This thing was dirtier than it actually looked. Um, I've got to go back over this area where the glue stick was. The glue, st the glue from the glue stick is really difficult to get up sometimes. So that covers that process. There's one other thing I wanted to go over since we have this out here. On glass specifically, um, if you have something that's stuck on and you just can't get it off with running water or with the rubbing alcohol, you can take a clean razor blade and then underwater just rub it like this at an angle or about 15 to 30 degrees and then that will get anything off. Uh, works very well. Uh, just be careful not to scratch it. Don't go like this or anything like that. Just get it at a nice clean angle and uh, just scrape. Um, just make sure that you watch your fingers. I don't want you guys getting cut, but uh, razor blades work very well on glass if you have any issues. And if you have any questions on that process, just go ahead and leave a comment below. All right guys, that covers the basics on how to clean a couple different types of build plates. Uh, as you can see, the process isn't that difficult and there are options based on what you have to work with. Uh, these alcohol pads are great or you can just use standard rubbing alcohol if you have the bottle of it. It's actually kind of hard to get right now, it's really sold out. Uh, but I did have these which I use all the time. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I'll try to get back to you within 24 to 48 hours. I'm pretty good about that, uh, but I will be going on vacation soon, so I might miss that deadline. Uh, it just depends when you respond. But that's it for today, so make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll talk to you next time. Thanks.